Hey, 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 everybody. It's Tea Talk with your girl. Happy Friday. I hope you had a great week and you are ready for your weekend, okay? Um, I am here uh, with some commentary on an interview that I watched. The interview with, was with Pastor Randolph Scott, who is the father of Tamika and Latasha Scott of Escape. So if you've been following, then you know there's a... the. Queens of Soul on um, Bravo with Escape and SWV, where there's some um, time in there where um, Tamika talks about her dad and the mom talks about the dad and how she left them and left them with nothing and she had to struggle and do all this and that. So the dad said he just wanted to clear his name. Okay, so the first, before I say anything, let me say that all things on my channel are alleged and in my opinion, okay? my opinion. I will be giving my opinion on this interview, okay? I'm not speaking facts. I'm speaking how I feel about this interview, okay? So let's put that out there first. The first question he was asked was if he attended his girl's wedding, okay? Both girls. And his answer was he did not attend Tasha's wedding. He saw it on social media. That confused the hell out of me. social media 27 years ago 30 years that girl said she was married for 27 years in the interview that she just did so that confused me a lot okay so if you know that it was social media 27 30 years ago and I was just busy being a mom and I didn't know please drop down in the comments and let me know because I'm telling y'all I did not know we had no social media 27 30 years ago the first I knew about social media and I'm being real the first I knew about it was MySpace and that was in 2006. My son was about to go to college. And so I was like, I'm lying. That's not true. 2006 is when I signed up for Facebook because my son was going to college. He graduated in 07. So I signed up for Facebook. But before that, we had MySpace. But that was only like a couple of years. So with that social media being 27, 30 years ago, mm, I'm not so sure about that. But anyway, he said that Rocky, they asked him if Rocky um, asked for his hand in marriage. He said he did do it at the church in front of everybody, but he didn't ask him. So I don't know about that either. When asked what happened between him and the, and the mom, Miss Gloria, he said they were married in March 10th, 1972. They did a lot of arguing and fussing. So they both decided to part ways, okay? They were equally um, ready to go. So they both decided, let's go. Um, and that was it. He's now been married for 14 years and he didn't know Miss Gloria didn't like him until she said it on TV. He said they've been doing functions together. They would go to the girl's house. They eat together. They do all kinds of stuff. He was really upset when he found out she didn't like him because he said he ate her food and he a little like me. He don't eat after people that he don't like. So he said he, he was, a you know, he was, you know, to find that out, he, I guess he was like, damn, I could have been poisoned or something. I don't know. He also said his six-year-old was questioning Miss Gloria's actions. A six-year-old? Why you got a six-year-old in a grown people conversation like that? She shouldn't even know what that lady's saying about you. Because you say y'all don't watch the show. So how would she know what that woman said? I'm confused. This interview confused me a lot, y'all. But I am going to tell you this. This is going to be my take. I ain't going to be agreeing with whoever. It's just my opinion, okay? And I'm going to give it to y'all real, my opinion, okay? Then he was asked, when he separated, were you not in the kids' lives? Because he's noting that Tasha always calls her mother on Father's Day. Okay, so he wanted to know. The AT, AT2 asked him that. And his answer was, he and Tamika hang out, and him and Tamika do all kinds of stuff. And, you know, Tamika even put him in her cookbook. But him and Tasha, not so much. He says when they were younger and they were starting out, he was their security guards. You know, he did all this stuff for them. And basically, Tasha not dealing with him because of Miss G. That's what he said. He found out Tosh and Candy got into a fight 
And he didn't contact the daughter to see if she was all right after he knew she got into a physical fight. He said he would just pray. He would just pray about it and, and they would make up. Mims asked him, did he know about the $30,000 check? And why Latasha was living with her mother at that time when them $30,000 checks was coming to that house? He said, oh, $30,000 check? Tasha living with the mother? These are my words. I'm just doing this, right? He said he ain't know nothing about that, y'all. He ain't know nothing about it. Mm -mm, he ain't know. He said everything he find out, he find out when we find out, right on social media, right? Anyway, Mims also asked him, was he in his children's lives? Did he separate from the mom or the kids? He said he never left his children. He talks about how he continued to be in the children's lives and how they wouldn't have made it without him. Okay? Remember that he said he never uh, separated from those children. Okay? The gray-haired diva asked him, she says, Tasha K, well, some stuff is about to come out about Tasha. And it's going to be devastating. And it's about infidelity. And it's bad stuff. Do you think you could call Tasha up and talk to her, reach out to her, do a wellness check, so to speak? You know, kind of to make sure she's doing all right with all this stuff going on. He said he can't call um, Tasha because Tasha blocked him. He said Tasha blocked him. He said Tasha can't, he can't call her. She blocked him. But I'm wondering if she blocked him or is it because she changed her phone number? Because remember that Tamika said that she changed her phone number and nobody, none of them had it but Candy. So I'm wondering if she changed her phone number and he thinks he's blocked. Okay, but he did say that Tasha will need him before he needs her. That's what he said. Okay. Asked if he paid child support. He didn't say yes or no, but he did say his financial advisor says that he overpaid. Um, he says that he was paying far after they were 18. So I guess that would mean that he did pay because he didn't say yes or no, but he did mention it, but he didn't really, I mean, he went around a lot of questions. In my opinion, he didn't, he wasn't straightforward in answering his question because um, like the next question, Mims asked him, did he see any favoritism to Tasha before and after the marriage from the mother? He says that Tamika taking up for him is what's caused some of the rift and that, um, um, he himself used to take Tosh, I mean, Tamika out, and him and Tamika would do this, and him and Tamika would do that, and Tosh wasn't there. This was him and Tamika, right? Him and Tamika did this and that, and him and Tamika did this or that, and and he never addressed whether he's ever seen the mom show favoritism, but he did say that Tamika was jealous of Tosh's voice, but he never said if the mom was showing favoritism, but I can tell you from what I listened to that he was, okay? That's my opinion. And I'm entitled to that, okay? Allegedly, I feel like he was favoring one over the other. Because why you always take Tamika and you never took Tasha nowhere? Like, that ain't making sense to me. Mims asked if he knew about Tamika's mom taking issues because of the likeness that Tamika had with him. Again... He said this is the first he ever heard about it. He never heard. This man got a lot of first time hearing stuff. I'm telling y'all. He never heard about it. Diva asked if he come on the platform and address the girls. He said, she asked him, would he do that? His answer. Now y'all listen carefully to this answer. His answer was, he definitely liked to do that with Tamika. He'd like to do that with Tamika so everybody can hear her side. No rehearsals. Just him and Tamika. Just him and Tamika. Not Tasha. Just him and Tamika. Because we only need to hear Tamika's side with him. That's what he said. Okay? Then they asked him, do he think that Tasha is blaming him for leaving the family? 
So he began to talk about his mother and how his mom separated from his father and how his mom said that she was going to give him to his no good ass father if she ever left. And that's exactly what she did. So he said he became a gang member. He was doing all this type of stuff. But in the end, he went and he took care of his mom himself until she died. Okay. He says he wished he could tell Tasha how much he loves her. Says he's always supported her. And now that she spent his... Okay, so he said he always supported her. And then he said that even in her grownness that he supported her. He said she used to come on over to his church and get money. He would have to go down to the ATM and get her some money and all types of stuff. And now she don't want nothing to do with him. And he said she done spent this damn money. So now she don't need him no more. That's what he said. That's what he said. Okay? And um, that's what the man said, y'all. I ain't lying. Mm -mm. So then they asked him, uh, what did he contribute to the girls, SWV? So he talked about back in the day with Jack the Rapper and all this other stuff when they was just the two girls. So that's not really SWV. That was Tamika and Tasha. And I forgot what he said the name of their group was. But that's not SWV. Okay? So... Then he was asked if he was in the room with all three ladies, meaning Miss Gloria, Tamika, and Tasha. Do he think that he could bridge the gap? He said it would never happen because the mother won't allow it. That's what he said. The same pastor who said he prayed about everything from when his daughter was in a physical altercation, he prayed about it. But when asked if he could sit in the room and bridge the gap between his two daughters and their mother for peace, he said it'll never happen. That's what he said. It would never happen. And then about the kids... They asked him were all the kids clothes. He said this one was close to this one. This one was close to this one. But all of them not. All of them don't have like a good relationship. All right. Y'all. This is the part right here to the interview. Where I just turned the interview off. And I ain't going to lie. Okay. I'm not going to lie. He said. And nobody asked him this. He just was talking. He said he's never been to an escape concert. Not one. Not one escape concert has he ever been to. The reason why, he said he's sitting there waiting for them to fly him in. They fly the mama in. So he waiting for them to fly him in too. And he want front row seats like the mama. He want to be flown in and he want a front row seat like his mama. That's what he said. And they asked him, why do he think he never been to a concert? He said he think because the mama don't want him there. The mama didn't want him there. That's what he said. He said the mama didn't want him there. That's why he didn't go. The man said he still got a payday coming, though, because he got two little girls, and they sing, too, and he going to get them going. He might be 70, but his life ain't over. Okay? But the man ain't never been to a concert, y'all. He never been to a concert. Never. Because they ain't fly him in. So here's my take on this whole entire video. Mr. Pastor Pastor, he ain't telling all the truth. Okay? Because he's talking about how he was a good father and he was here and he was there and he was everywhere. And he sounded like my father, if you want to know the truth. He was absent. He was there when he wanted to be there. Okay? That's not being a good father. If you were a good father, all your firsts wouldn't be today. This wouldn't be the first time you're hearing this and the first time you're hearing that. Because you would be involved no matter how old they are. You would be involved. That's all I'm saying is he would be involved, y'all. So for him to say all this, he never been to a concert. This is the first time he hearing about the $30,000 check. This is the first time he hearing about this. The first time he hearing about that. 
How, when you their father, this your first time hearing about this stuff, sir? I'm confused, okay? I'm confused because even if your children don't call you, you don't call them? You don't check in on them? Why your daughter didn't invite you to that wedding 27 years ago? Why she didn't invite you? Why? Why Tamika? Why Tamika the only one you want to sit down with? Why? Why you don't want why you don't want to be on camera with Tasha? You say you want to be on camera with Tamika. So Tamika can tell her side about you. Why you don't want Latasha to tell her side? See, both of them parents, to me, got a lot of shit going on, if you want to know the truth. Both of them at fault. Both of them wrong. Both of them responsible for this crap that's going on with them girls. Because, see, the father, he favored Tamika, and the mother, she favored Tasha. When both of y'all should have put, been putting your love into both of them girls equally. So they wouldn't be out here being rivals and being jealous of each other. That is the problem. You, Mr. Pastor Randolph Scott, and Miss Gloria, y'all the problem. That's my take on this. Y'all are the problem. Y'all the reason why them two girls can't get it together. Okay? Y'all are. And I ain't faking and pretending because he a pastor because some of the worst people come out the damn pulpit. So don't be fooled by no no uh pastor role because some pastors went, they weren't called. Okay? Everybody in that pulpit wasn't called by God. Some of them went for this right here. And the fact that he said he's still going to get his payday from his other two daughters, child, bye. Listen, that's all I got on this. I hope I wasn't too dry for y'all. I thought I was going to be more excited about this interview once it happened. But baby, baby, I was not. I was not. I was not even impressed. So whoever was... Kudos to you. But see, I know what a good daddy is. Because my kids got one. Man, they never miss nothing. Me and his ass might not have been getting along. I see him across the room, roll my eyes at him. We don't do that no more. But I couldn't keep him away. How could I keep him away? If I ain't give him a ticket, he gonna get his own dad on ticket. That's what a good father do. A mother can't keep a good father away from his children. Do you understand what I'm telling you? I ain't falling for the okie doke. Anyway, I gotta go because Tosh K just went live and I'm gonna go get that news for y'all tonight so I can come back and share it with y'all, okay? Bye-bye now. And please like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel. Let's grow together, all right? Peace out.